here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this. Prophet, 
Your cut minus what you owe me for damaging the falcon is... Hey, not bad. All right, damage report. <laughs> Engine failure, all right. Hyperdrive leak, mm, that is not too good. Multiple hull ruptures, well, it could be worse. Life support failure, that... Huh? Okay, that's something. Yeah, I'm just going to cut you off there. It might be faster if you missed the parts that are not damaged. <laughs> you know, the ones that... Alright, we're back in Toy Story Land for a spell. Looks like Alien Swirling Saucers is posted at 40 right there. The kids want to do Toy Story Mania again, which is also posted at 40. So we shall see. And then here's the bathrooms. Love the theming of these bathrooms. How fun is those? Alright, Woody's lunchbox is open. It is mobile order only. There it is back there. Looks like they got some space to eat. vegan grilled cheese. Slinky Dog was posted at 80, so it's actually gotten better throughout the day than it was in the morning. We're gonna get in line for this. hit the pool, most definitely have dinner, and then the daughter and I have a castle painting adventure to do. Bye, thank you. So off we go. It's hard to stay too late and all day when it's so hot like this, so we always plan in, you know, resort activities and such on these days. to show you guys the castle one last time because the daughter and I signed up to paint a castle that lights up over at the Contemporary. It was $30 per person and it starts right now. So we're going to go ahead and take the bridge over to the Contemporary and paint our very own castle. And we get to paint it any way we want. Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Spooky, whatever we want. So. Make sure you guys come along and follow and see what we do to our castle and see the whole process. Let's go. All right, there she is currently right now at about 5 p.m. She's very rosy pink, most of her, with some kind of bluish purple. I forget what those things are called. I call them little tips with definitely some gold to rose gold accents. So let's see what we do to our castle. Pretty. All right, we're in the contemporary. They told us to meet up at Chef Mickey's. So here we go. All right, we're here. We are a few minutes early. They're not letting check in any sooner than at 5.30. So it starts at 5.30, it ends at 7.30. So it's a two hour process. It's $30 per castle. 
and they only do it on Mondays and Wednesdays. So we'll see. They showed us, uh, you know, what it can, what it can look like, and it's adorable. So I can't wait to put my spin on it. And yeah. All right, we're all checked in. It ended up being sixty-three dollars and some change, but that's because we are doing two castles. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see them? See? Is this us? Awesome. Thank you. So right here I have a label that I would like for you to put your last name and I want you to put what day you check out and then you're gonna place it on the bottom of your ceramic so that we don't get any of them mixed up. Awesome. And then once you guys have selected what colors you'd like, if you'd like to use the pencil and mark it off and then raise your hand when you are ready and we will get you those paints. Perfect. Good. All right, so here it is and it's a naked state. It is a light, so a light will go up in there so we can light it up. Looks like they do have this door image on it. They have the lines here. What are these, turrets? I never know the name. Here's the back of the castle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I gotta get going. But yeah, there she is. These are the different colors. Looks like quite a bit. So we're supposed to mark down what colors we think we're interested based on this color code map right here. We got some pretty decent brushes, which is great, and a pencil. Stay tuned. All right, so I drew my little decals that I wanted on my castle. I selected my colors. Time to paint. The daughter is already started. All right, so we just found out we're an hour in. Here's mine so far. Can anyone tell what I'm doing? <laughs> Other than a castle. <laughs> Here's my front. I'm getting ready to paint the main front all right soon. My sides. A lot of different castles going on right now. My daughter's is very Maleficent inspired and very wet at the moment. Yeah, but yeah it's crunch time. Hour to go. Wish us luck. So this is two hours worth of painting. I didn't quite get it done, um, but I kind of expected as much. But they're gonna let me take it to the room because I have a villa and I'm gonna finish painting it real quick and then hopefully they can glaze it tomorrow. So yeah, definitely don't get too carried away if you decide to do this with your design because it, it does take time. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, so here's my finished castle. What do you guys think? They let me take home the paints, and so I worked for about another hour and just kind of tidied things up. And now as soon as the, I think it's called the community house, as soon as it opens, um, I can drop this off and they will put a clear glaze on it. And then I can pick it up when it's dry. And it's mine forever. I love it, I'm so excited. Forgive me if I think this is an excellent souvenir. For $30, not only do you have a nice memory, but you have a castle nightlight that you get to take home and use and kind of remember your trip and all the fun you had. So yeah, this whole castle is pretty cool. They have this stage area. There's a couple like little windows and things in there that you can kind of paint different. But once it's all done, we're gonna set it up at our new hotel, which is the Poly. So you guys can see it actually as a working nightlight. But yeah, yay. All right, this is the community hall at Bay Lake Tower. This is where we are going to drop off the castle. This is also where you would go to sign up for things or do other activities that they have like bocce ball and such things. So we're gonna go inside. All right, here they are all finished. Aren't they just adorable? I absolutely love them. So here's something to note when we did pick them up, they were really stinky, stinky from uh, the glaze treatment. 
So we did have a hard time kind of unboxing them and use them on vacation as planned. So we totally had to air them out. But once they were aired out, we got them home safe and sound. Um, we just love them. We absolutely love them, but here they are. So this is mine all finished and glazed as I showed you before. You can see what it looks like with the nightlight on. Totally adorable. Isn't that great? And then my daughter's here. I think this is the first time you guys are seeing hers. Isn't hers just so cute? She went with a Halloween kind of haunted theme, but she painted Maleficent on the back. Let's see if I can show you that. So she's got a little Maleficent back here that she painted. And these are flames, right, from Maleficent when she, Maleficent takes down the castle. So yeah, the great thing about this product uh, project is that you can kind of do whatever you want. There were several people there painting it just like the castle. A lot of people were doing holiday themes or solid colors. I wish I could have uh, shown you guys what other people were doing, but I was lucky enough to paint what I got done in those two hours. So definitely don't get too ambitious with, with your game plan. I totally got a little too ambitious um, with what I was hoping to accomplish. But yeah, this is them completely finished. I hope you guys give castle painting a try. Like I said earlier, it's for any resort. So um, yeah, even if you're staying at a resort that's not on the monorail, you can totally sign up for this project. But it's just easier if you are, because not only do you have to go there to sign up, you have to go there to create the project, then you have to go there to pick up the project. So I think if you were saying it like Pop Century, that might be a little harder for you unless you had a car. But yeah, absolutely 100% worth my $60, you know, for two castles.